novel named Murdered Before Wedding. This novel is mostly fiction inspired and true events that may happen to somebody. Names, characters, places, incidents, either product of imagination or being changed. Any resemblance just a coincidence, please consider this book as a sci-fi. Sometimes this novel has third-party content, constitute fair use. Works are meant to be educational, scholar in nature. Chapter 1. Audrey Thompson. Audrey Thompson was born in Saberly, Missouri in December 1982. She had one brother named Jim and the two of them very close growing up. Throughout their lives, Audrey was a very spunky, outgoing person. She had a lot of passion for life and everything that she did. Audrey, Audrey's loves one describe her as someone who is as always bubbly as she is. She was her own unique personality and she wasn't afraid to let her personality shine. Despite that, Audrey had Asperger syndrome and she was functioning savant and genius. She was never something that held her back in any way. There is always something that gave her a different type of passion for life. Audrey was an amazing person, amazing friend. She never uh, molded herself into fit to with others. She actually preferred to stand out from the crowd. One of the Audrey's many passions was her YouTube channel that she loved so much and she loved doing general vlog and uh, she called it a weekly vlog and the way she would share a lot of her personal life, her thoughts, her talents and her hobbies. Quote, hello my dear subscribers, I figured I would just, um, I would just kind of give a little bit of background on me so you kind of get to know me well. She was writing on a on YouTube channel. So I am 34 years old. I work in education right now. I have a two degrees in psychology and bachelor's degree and master's. And I'm working on third degree, second master's in counseling. And I'm very, uh, I'm very much a huge geek, but I hate being just a cold nerd. I'm a huge fan of things like Marvel and Disney. Audrey told her fans on a YouTube channel. Audrey was a total geek and proud of it. She loved video games making costumes, making props for her cosplay. She also loved animals and she had five cats. And she really enjoyed reading and singing. But what Audrey really, Audrey really lived, loved was nail polish. And nail art. She actually started her own nail polishing business at one point she called Shiny Sparks. Audrey first got into nail Polish business as a hobby and then she met some other women online who liked the making nail polishing as well and they became community. Then she decided to order the materials that she would need to order to make her own nail polishes, just kind of let her creativity run with it. Another reason why she was inspired to start her own nail polish business is because traditional nail polish is very expensive and it can be extremely overpriced and Audrey had the low prices that popular brands did. The name of her company was inspired by two things. First, uh, her love of sparkly things and second, it was actually uh, like maneuver in her favorite video game. And that maneuver called uh, Shine Spark. So Audrey thought it was perfect name for her brand. She loved uh, too much nail polish to whatever colors she was wearing that day. Audrey's favorite colors were pink and green. Her favorite place to travel was Florida. Um, because she loved going to Disney and Harry Potter's world. Also, Audrey was also incredibly smart. She had two psychology degrees and a bachelor and was eventually going to go back to get her second master's. So she clearly was very, very intelligent. In her early 20s, Audrey first got married to her, her first husband. However, their relationship actually ended in two years. They end up getting into divorce. But during the divorce process, Audrey ended up finding out that she was pregnant with the son. During her pregnancy, Audrey actually reconnected with one woman named Sandy, and she, who she went to kindergarten with. That funny that two of them actually remembered not liking each other back then and when they were growing up, but some something changed and they were very fond of each other as adults. So fond of each other, so they began falling in love with each other and Sandy ended up helping Audrey raising her son, who they named Bilan. Bilan was born